So traders, after experiencing an incredible move to the upside on the stock market indices, could this be now where we're starting to falter and potentially see a downward movement, a pullback in the market. So let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, so let's get uh, straight into the Dow Jones. The big thing I'm noticing here, right guys, is I'm just looking at this from a percentage point of view, okay? So look at this here from a percentage point of view. If I look at this here, from that there to that there, if I look at it from a percentage point of view, we actually did what? We actually did, let's actually do this here, uh, da, 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 right? We actually had, what's that? That is a three month period, we have a 19% move to the upside. If we have a look at it from here to here, and a little bit more, we've had what? We've had this move here, and we've had a move to the upside, so over three months, we've had a 20% move to the upside. Let's go look at the S&P 500. And we'll be able to start to see, even from the S&P 500, um, what we've actually, what you actually see through, right? So this from, from the bottom here, let's actually go to the NASDAQ. Okay, S&P 500 here. Okay, cool. So the NASDAQ has indeed gone from the low to the high here. That was a 14% move over two months. This last move here, move up to move there that was over over four months it went up and that was a 20 percent move and now from this low to high you can see it's been 25 percent increase over the over the course of four months okay so check this out so because we've actually had this incredible move to the upside we understand that there's going to be some sort of a drop and the the hardest thing right now guys is people trying to go along these markets um, it's, it's, it's time to evacuate the building. Um, I really believe that. Let's have, if, we, if we bring up the actual chart itself, let me show you this here. So you can see how we're just very, very, st we're still, we notice we're, we're going up, but we're slowly going up, slowly going up, slowly going up, right? We're just really sort of slowly moving to the upside. Now, the big thing for me is the Dow Jones. Look at this Dow Jones here. After going up for an incredible move to the upside, Look what we're getting right now. We're getting what? A potential false breakout. The Dow Jones is starting to lead the way, I believe, on the next big drop, right? After 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 a massive run up, the next big drop is starting. And I really believe that because we're starting to get this, look at this here, and especially on the Dow Jones, like if you've been long the Dow Jones for the last month, uh, you're probably not a happy camper right now, right? So there's resistance through here. We had all this point through there, and now we're getting what? We're getting a big drop down in, uh, we're getting a false breakout pattern on the downside, and then now we're starting to see a move down through here, right? So this could finally be ready, because we actually didn't get the, we haven't actually gotten a false breakout pattern here yet until now. So if we go look at this here, we can see this whole area through here. It came up, but then came up, hit resistance, hit resistance, okay? So we didn't get the false breakout pattern. Resistance one, resistance two, resistance three, three times, broke up, came down, support, support, and then now it's actually broken down, right? What's that there? La, da, 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 da. False breakout pattern, right? A false breakout to the upside. So this could be the sign, this could be the sign for the next big movement on the downside, right? The next big drop on the downside. So that's what we're seeing through there, guys. We're gonna, gonna, we've got to be really, really, really cautious about what's happening here. And we will get a drop, guys, okay? If you expect, if you're long the stock market right now, now I mean, I mean the indices, guys, I'm actually long, I'm actually long two individual stocks. And I'm happy about those trades, right? They're, they're, they're very, very nice. But I'm definitely not long the indices. Definitely not long the indices right now. Because of, because of because of what's going on here. And we will get some form of a drop. There's going to be a drop in the markets, okay? And when the drop does come, which look at the look at the look at the Dow Jones now, right? We're just very, very after a very after a ma after a massive move in the mar in the stock market, get here is you know, the, the 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 drop could be starting. 
as I'm doing this right now, guys, I'm trying to think of some. I'm trying to think of a title of how to, how to, how to title this video. So um, we can see once again this big move to the upside on the S&P 500, and now we're just starting to falter a little bit. Um, again, just slowly, slowly, slowly. The big problem with this, guys, it's more like I see this like a roller coaster pattern, right? Now the roller coaster pattern is more like when the market goes up very, very strongly, and then it just starts to slowly go up. And then the market starts to do that really, really quickly, right? It's more like a, it's a slow, you know, it's a roller coaster pattern, right? Because you know what happens with the roller coaster, right? What happens with roller coaster? It slowly takes you up. Right? And then it just, it, you know, you know the whole jig, 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 right? It's like, jig, jig, jig. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Like, you know, those, you know the sound it makes, like, chuck, 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 chuck. It's like the chain is pulling you up, right? Here we go, here we go, here we go, top thing. So that's what I'm seeing right now, guys, when it comes to the good old S&P 500. Uh, the NASDAQ as well too. NASDAQ, again, we're starting to see this potential falter. Because you think about it, right, guys, look at the last couple of months. We've, ba we've basically done nothing for the last couple of months, right? Especially these, th what's that they're through there? Yeah, so for the last, especially for the last month, we've done what? A 5% move on the, like, and last month we've done basically like a, like, what's that? Three percent move to the upside. We're, we're we're slowly, right? We're slowly. It's the chigga chigga, right? Chigga chigga. It's the it's the roller coaster pattern, right? It's chig 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 chig, and then suddenly it just starts to. The momentum's very 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 slow through here. And what do I mean by the momentum, guys? I like to use I like to look at things from angle perspectives. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's 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 go through. So let's do this here. So if the market go, if if the market does that, it's a, if ma the market goes straight up like that, and what I mean by that, guys, is that if the market does, this would be the actual market, right? I'm just looking at the overall angle, right? That'd be the market through there. Make sense? So if the market does this, pretty much, that's pretty strong. That's a pretty strong move to the upside. But what if it does this, right? Or what if it does this here? Right, see how the angles are getting slower. And what, I'm, what I mean by slower is this is a strong move to the upside. Okay, buyers are pretty strong now. Okay, cool. And now, oh, hang on a minute. This actually, we're starting to slow down. Oh, hang on a minute. This is very, very weak, right? Like, yeah, we're, we're going up, but see the angle of this move? I'm going a bit advanced on you here, guys, but let me show you what I'm talking about here. So if we take everything off the screen and we see this angle here, right? This angle through here, is pretty much the exact same angle there's pretty much the exact same angle there. Look at this here, right? So if I just thicken you, make you a bit thicker, and then I use that exact same angle, it's pretty much the exact same angle to the upside there, as you can see, and pretty much the exact, look at that there, pretty much the exact same angle to the upside. This is the angle of the move. But what's happened here recently? Notice if I, if I do, see how it's not the exact same angle, same angle is it? It's actually more like what? It's more like this, isn't it? See how it's like that? Let me make you a pink. Let me make you pink. See the angle? Look how different that is. What does that mean? It's slowing down. The market is slowing. We did get some good buying movement, right? Good, look at this here, strong buying leg. And then in this, pretty much the exact same angle to the upside. Pretty much the exact same angle to the upside. Uh-oh, it's slowing down. Get ready for the drop. Right, get ready for the drop, get ready for the drop, because it's slowing down now, as you can see, right? And so that's actually what we're seeing through here. This is what I mean by, and this is this is pretty advanced stuff here, guys, that I'm talking about here. This is not what, a lot of people don't know this sort of stuff. Um, I guess I've been very fortunate to have one of the most successful traders, I believe, on the planet teach me this sort of stuff. But this is alerting us, guys. This is alert. This is a, a major alert, a major alert. The stock market drop is coming. Um. The the um the the pattern here, guys, is screaming at us right now. Okay, screaming at us right now. Um, and once again, if you see the actual stock market itself, same sort of thing, right? Strong up, strong up, and now look what's happening through here, right? See, we, it's it's a different it's a different angle, isn't it? It's a different angle from there. So we have that angle through there, that angle through there. Notice how the angle is different here. Why? It's slowly going up, right? Slowly, 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 slowly going up, and then even for even for the Dow Jones, right? Look at this here. We're not we're not we're not we're actually not going up. We're just flattening out now. As the chigga chigga is coming to the end, right? The chigga, if you chigga chigga is the 
is the thing that I'm t- t- talking about here, guys, right? So that's what I wanted to share with you there, guys, on these markets through here. Um, it's uh, right now, major red alert, stock market drop is coming, uh, and the market is slowing down. There's a lot of weakness that is that, that is about to hit the markets. So traders, hope you enjoyed today's update through here. There's, these are some really techniques to really help you out, but traders, the most important thing to you is when you are trading the markets is that you have some sort of a system, some sort of pattern that you're looking for. When I'm looking at the markets, guys, I'm just looking for the same sort of pattern every single day. I'm not, it's nothing new. Um, if you'd like to learn my high probability trading pattern, my setup, how I scan the market to find these trades, um, and plus a lot more really techniques to really help you when it comes to trading, then that first link in the description there, guys, go click on that and you can grab access to a free training where I put together where I really walk you through the, I, I just teach you literally my top trading system, my top trading pattern, and how I find these trades, so you can start to apply it in your own trading today.